Hi, I'm Candice, global trainer from TopCon Healthcare University. You can control the CV5000 4-opter head using the KB50S with a one-touch dial controller, allowing you to maintain a comfortable, ergonomic working position throughout the refraction process. The KB50S dial controller consists of two parts, the keyboard area with the dial controller and the color touchscreen. The screen displays various types of refraction data, organized into different areas. You can perform a variety of actions using the keyboard and dial controller, but most of these actions can also be controlled from the touchscreen. It all comes down to personal preference. But for now, let's focus on the keyboard. The single button on the upper right side of the keyboard allows you to turn the screen display on and off. Before you start refracting a new patient, use the yellow CL button to clear any data displayed and to reset the entire system. The blue IN button loads patient pretest data from an autorefractor and or computerized lens meter connected to the CV5000. When you press the IN button, the screen shows the available autorefractor measurements listed under AR data and lens meter measurements under RX data. From here, you can select your patient's data from the list and it will populate the AR and RX data areas at the top of the screen. Selecting one of the set to subjective boxes will set the autorefraction or lens meter data as the starting point for your subjective refraction. Select OK to continue. The gray shift button is used with other buttons on the keyboard to access alternate functions covered in our other videos, such as accessing the pre-programmed test courses using the shift and program button. The FN button toggles between far and near point testing. When you reach your testing in your refraction routine, press the FN button and the foropter will automatically adjust to the near pupillary distance and switch on the LED lights to illuminate any near task. Pressing the FN button switches back to far testing and turns off the LED lights. The H and V buttons access the horizontal and vertical prism testing modes. The add button allows you to adjust the near add power during near point testing. The print button allows you to print the data obtained from the autorefractor, lens meter, and refraction examination, or you can export this data to your electronic medical records. The S, C, and A buttons allow selection of each element of the refraction. S for sphere, C for cylinder power, and A for cylinder axis. Select which one you want to modify and use the buttons or dial controller to change the power or axis. The PD button allows you to adjust the foropter head to match the patient's pupillary distance. When pressed, you will notice that the cross-marked lenses load in front of the patient's eyes and the eyes are illuminated to help you with pupillary distance adjustments. Simply rotate the dial to adjust the PD. You can also view and adjust the back vertex distance during this time. See our video on the CV5000 4-opter head for details on how to adjust the PD and vertex distance. Once your adjustments are complete, press PD again to exit this mode. In the top middle area of the keyboard, there are five buttons. The small gray buttons add your chosen occluder or fogging lens to the right or left aperture of the foropter head. Pressing the button again returns the aperture to normal. The blue buttons select which eye or eyes are being tested. The R button selects the right eye for testing while occluding the left eye. The L button selects the left for testing and occludes the right eye. The blue B button opens both eyes for binocular testing. The one-touch dial controller is rotated to change parameters during the refraction process and the central set button advances to the next step when using a pre-programmed refraction course. When a particular parameter is selected, rotating the dial alters that parameter by the selected step size. For example, when I select sphere, one click to the left adds plus 0.25 diopters and one click to the right adds minus 0.25 diopters. Alternatively, you can use the green plus button to change the selected value by one step size in the plus direction and the red minus button to change it in the minus direction. The one and two buttons are used to present the patient with two options during the Jackson cross cylinder test by effectively flipping the cross cylinder lens. 
The blue program button opens up the list of programmed refraction courses or routines that have been created. Saving your preferred refraction routine can make a big difference to your clinic efficiency. These buttons on the right control the visual acuity chart when a digital chart is connected to the system. You can apply a vertical or horizontal mask to the chart to isolate a line of optotypes. Pressing any one of these buttons a second time removes the mask. The red-green button applies a red-green filter across the chart and the lower right button applies a mask to isolate a single character. The four arrow buttons shift the masks up and down or left and right as desired. They also allow you to increase or decrease the size of the letters displayed on the chart. The VA button is used to record the measured visual acuity. Press VA, then touch the visual acuity value corresponding to the lowest line red. The KB50S comes with built-in patient education tools accessed through the menu button. A range of graphics, simulations, and short videos can be used at the end of the refraction to help the patient understand their own prescription and the effect it has on their vision. What's really cool about the CB5000 is that it is also a handy education tool for your patients. When explaining to a new presbyope, you can show them their specific prescription so that they can better understand their personal prescription. In addition, common issues such as presbyopia, cataracts, and the value of progressive lenses are explained. Pressing the menu button a second time will allow you to exit the patient education area. The KB50S is a great educational tool that you can use to boost your patient's confidence in your practice while they're in your chair. And that's a general overview of the KB50S keyboard with one touch dial controller. See our other KB50S videos on controlling the CV5000 from the color touchscreen of the KB50S. For more information on using the CV5000, please visit TopCon Healthcare University.